Hello everybody. Welcome back to how to build a B1 bomber 10 minutes at a time. I did it again people. I thought I'd hit that button and looked up and it wasn't recording. But anyway, what I did is I got this thing all waxed up. I put a couple good coats on it and I sprayed my part all on there. Let that dry. I did that to my mist coats. And now I'm just putting my resin on here. Just cruising today. Been on this thing a week now. Put in some hours on this wing mold. I'll tell you what, it's coming out awesome though. Just amazes me what a guy can do when he puts his mind to it. If you want something bad enough, just gotta do it. No, but uh, I like to just keep it kind of thin at first and work it into them corners to where you don't have no air bubbles. A nice, smooth, even layer. That way, if anything sags down there, it won't be on top of an air bubble because we started out thin. Cut off before, but Jason, uh, Mark said that if you wanted some of that part all, he would ship it to you. You pay the shipping, he'll box it up. But it's a water base. He says just like this part all, you can spray it or put it on with a sponge. I don't know if you guys ever tried that, people, but you can put this part all on with a paper towel. I mean, if you don't have a compressor or you can't spray. Mark says a sponge works best. I've never tried a sponge. But Jason, Mark said he would send it to you. So, call down there and ask for Mark. He'll, he'll hook you up. But I think uh, just anything the hazardous chemicals, I think, is what we're going to have a problem with. Like epoxy. It's not the epoxy that's hard that's considered hazardous. It's the it's the hardener. coats of this white stuff, this wine epoxy. Man, does that make a nice mold. I sure like it. Yeah, better than, someone on RC Universe was asking me if I like it better than mixing it with my calcium carbonate. And oh yeah, 100% better. And if I had some vertical surfaces, you know, corners, I would probably still thicken some up with some calcium carbonate to get it just to get it all from sagging out. I don't know. I kind of just play things by ear. Depends on how long I got. If I got time to put two or three coats on it, I would probably just go with the thin coats. You know, but if I was getting started on something later in the day, I might thicken some up for the corner, you know, one thing about my shop is uh, I don't have to do things any certain way.
I also found people that if I leave a little bit in this cup, what I'll do is I'll pour a little bit in my Dixie cup. Not very much. But, uh, and let it set for about 30 minutes. This the pot. If you got the mix ratio right, it won't get all foamy and hard. But I want to save this cup. So I, I won't do it in this cup. I'll pour it in a Dixie cup. But just enough to get these edges. But this epoxy will set about 30 minutes in this cup and get a lot stiffer. Okay, that way, you know, I can be sure because, you know, two light coats just ain't very, very much on these vertical surfaces. So even being a little bit chilly outside, I'll put some in a Dixie cup and set it outside. I mean, probably just set it put it in the fridge. After about 30 minutes, it's still brushable, but it's just a lot thicker. But I don't think I'd try it with a, you know, this thing half full. It would build up too much heat. But uh, it does, and regular epoxy will tend to go off and leave you that smoking cup. Looks like a volcano going off sometimes. I was sitting here about a week ago and I left some in a cup. I was doing one of these parts. And I started hearing this crackling. I thought, what is going on? I was looking around, kind of like some bowl of Rice Krispies or something. Looked over there and that cup was a smoking. And I get them mixtures pretty close, you know. And it didn't have a lot, it was just, you know, half full. When you get something half full of resin, man, it starts building up a lot of heat. And that's what does that. Once it gets hot, it just sets up that much quicker. You just got to have a safe place to do it. Don't ever let any container of resin set where it can catch something on fire. I got a I got a cement platform out that door, and I got a couple metal parts out there. That I put them on actually put them on that metal. I you know don't ever leave a jugs of epoxy sitting around because they do get hot. You know then once you see it smoking, your first instinct is to grab it. And what you don't realize is that it's hundreds of degrees already. That is hot. And so it's just better. And right after you're done mixing, go set your stuff. Just get a place for it. And then I let stuff accumulate out there. I get four or five cups and I throw them in the dumpster. But uh, don't ever keep, especially if you're going to bed. If you're going to bed, get rid of that resin. Put it on something that will not burn. Just a little safety tip from your buddy Bob at the shop. You know, how much time we got left? Oh, a minute, 16 seconds. I'm going to take my little Dixie cup here. And we're going to put about an inch in it. Now I'm going to let that set about a half hour and then I'm going to make a movie. Okay, and the rest of this I'm just going to dump into one of my other containers that I set out back and drain that resin out of there so I can reuse this cup. Okay, people, time's running out. I'm going to load these movies, and uh, I'll make another one when that, when that uh, resin, here in about 30 minutes, I'll let that resin stiffen up a bit, and I'll show you.